Happy Friday and welcome to Torah Today with me, with Javi Rappaport. Our Torah is so relevant today, just as it was yesterday at Sinai. Can it be one me, that one minute I feel so much love, kindness, and all of a sudden hijacked by feelings of resentment and anger? Am I just so inauthentic or... Am I okay? What's going on? In a fantastic talk by Rabbi Y.Y. Jacobson, we can really understand and relate to that struggle and the Torah allays our fears. You are normal. Here's the story of Rivka and Parsha Toldot. Rivka is pregnant and she is bearing such intense pain in her preg pregnancy and she says, Lama Zanochi, I prayed all these years. For what? For this? But the fact that she puts in the word Anochi, like, what's happening inside of me? What is with me? What is with what's going on inside of me? It's not just a physical pain. When she walks by a place of prayer, synagogue, one fetus is excitedly moving, trying to get out, kicking. And then when she walks by, by a place of unholiness and impurity and idolatry, there is that intense movement again. And she's wondering, what kind of child am I producing here, caring here with such a split personality? Holiness and intense evil at the same time. What is this? And so she goes to find out. She doesn't go to a doctor. She goes to a spiritual mentor, Shemva Ever, the Yeshiva. And she asks, what is this? And he explains to her, you are carrying two children. And they are so different. And yes, one will gravitate to Torah, to goodness, and one will be a warrior, even a murderer. And that's the reality. And they are constantly going to be battling each other. They are going to, these two nations will constant, constantly be at war. And each one is going to try for supremacy. Try to be the one whose intentions are actuated. And it's going to be forever. When one rises, the other falls. They will never rule equally at the same time. Welcome. Sound familiar? The greatest battles are fought inside of us every single day. And that's why it says, Ezehu Gibor HaKovesh Et Yitzro. Who is the true warrior and strong man one who can overcome his evil inclination. Hashem created us that way. There is, we say, nefesh bahamit. It's the animal soul. It's not that it's bad. It's just that it just wants pleasure, immediate gratification, entitlement, take care of me. It's all about me and that's it. And then there is the godly soul. The godly soul that wants connection, spirituality, selflessness, and they are at odds. True, it's our job not only to give supremacy to the godly soul, but to hope that it can train and give the animal soul a taste, a desire, and an interest to join, to be able to be uplifted and incorporated into the godly soul. And that is definitely possible. And it's something we do all the time. That's the good news. You're listening to Torah right now. That's a perfect example. You're listening, phys physical ears, the information, the spiritual, making a blessing on food, all of these things. But there will always be a battle of the here and now, or 
what's really best. Maybe it's a little bit in the future. So we are warriors and we can always be successful. Have a beautiful day.